Well, it's a beautiful rainy day here at New Age Custom Farming. We're building a lake. It's Wayne Avery. It's never Greggy's fault. Just remember that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday I had to go rescue Ronnie. Anybody that drives truck knows when the brakes get wore, the S cam gets over center and they locked up along the road. And it's never close to home. We drive to Cambria as the farmers drive and we come back in a minute. You know, it's an hour drive. Well, how, how 100 yards out of Cambria driveway, Ronnie? They locked up. <laughs> it's, both times we have problems, it's at Cambria. Yeah. You know, we never had, never halfway between or at this end, but the brakes were wore out and the S cam goes over center and they lock. So now and, Ronnie's uh, fixing. Yeah, well, we're just putting any season the wheel studs to so they come apart and go together easy. And, so, All that's right. about it. This just shows you guys, the sound in the background just shows you guys that we're always working while we're filming because if you notice in one of our last videos, Greggy was the culprit of always making noise when you're trying to film something. Now it's Avery, so. Yeah, let's blame Avery. It's never Greggy's fault. Just remember that. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Riveting. So cool. What are you doing? <laughs> Changing the hub wheel. Okay. And you're going to do a time lapse of it. This is Starting... literally it. This is literally what we do. Drain the oil and put new stuff in. Like you're seeing it all right now. <laughs> Why do you have to do this? Well, there's a final drive in here that's very expensive so it's just like changing oil in your car which you don't care about anyway so which i don't care about yeah that's what i have you yeah. <laughs> okay i'm gonna go get cows bye okay, bye well it's a beautiful rainy day here at new age custom farming we're building a lake no um like I said, Wisconsin weather is super weird right now. I hope, hope my boots are tall enough so I don't get wet in this puddle. Um, and, oh no. Oh no, I have a hole in my boot. My whole foot is wet. Oh. What a miserable day. <laughs> um, okay, now my foot's soaking wet. This is super fun. Wisconsin weather weird last week freezing this week mid 30s and raining but because of that it means the entire farm is a mess a sloppy mess because everything is melting and then we're getting more precipitation from the rain and our like drain for our driveway gets clogged pretty easily which is rather unfortunate um i'll flip this around and show you guys but i'm just trying to get to the calf barn so yeah this is what the driveway looks like we still have lots more snow to come down and lots more there's snow to melt and rain to come down so it's really nice here Avery's a little late, but he took the loader and is trying to fix this flooding situation. You gotta stop so I can scold him. You're a little late fixing that flooding problem. Every Friday we pick up new calves from the local dairy that we buy their bull calves from. 
And then we have a robot barn or an auto feeder, so we have to make sure that the animals are trained to know how to drink from it. And so that's my job every weekend is I come to the farm in the morning and help push the calves up into the auto feeder so that they know how and where to drink. This is our big puddle of new calves that are all very hungry. So what we do is when we bring them to the barn, we do all their vaccinations and stuff, and then we put the newest ones in this pen, and then we'll move them out. So like right now we have two groups of new ones in, so we have the new group from last week and the new group from this week in this pen. And then next week, before we go pick up the next new batch of calves, we'll split these up between the outer pens and have the new ones in here so that they're by themselves when they get here. Um, so they have a little bit more time to build up their immune system. But yeah, I'm currently barricaded in my little area so that I'm not getting mauled by these calves because they're hungry. Are you guys hungry? This is my list of calves that I have to push up this morning. This is their number. This is our old collar number, so we have to switch it. That's what the plus means. The plus means they also got, um, we have this, I can't remember what it's called, but we have this special drink concoction, basically, that they drink when they first get here that will also help them with their immune system and then my lines are if they've drank or not so that's how I keep track of it and then this tells us who's drinking so right now I'm looking at pen one and the calf that's in there right now is 5902 she has 0.2 liter or he has 0.2 liters left um I just had to correct myself because we buy bull calves from the dairy farm. Sometimes we have the free Martin heifers, which were twins born, um, bulk, a bull calf and a female. That's what a free Martin is. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Like Avery was rambling in our last video, but that is my Saturday morning. I basically get mauled by calves for a while. It looks like somebody's ear. You can kind of tell the left ear. Got a little frostbitten over the deep cold, but Buddy seems to be doing just fine. <laughs> this is the stall. This is the stall that they drink out of. So they're where it blah. We have four pens. Each pen has its own stall that they go into, the nipple that they suck from, and then that signals to the robot. Um, this black box signals to the robot. They have their collars on. I'll see if I can. Like this calf, his collar, this button goes to that blocks, wow, that black box and lets them know what the calf is, what number it is. And then the robot knows if it's able to drink or not. And then if it is able to drink, the robot sends milk out to it to go drink. It's pretty simple actually. It's really great technology that we have. So it means we don't have to feed calves every single day. We are in the barn every single day, but we're not actively feeding calves every single day. And then before I leave here today, I will go and put grain in every grain box and that'll be it. Now that the weather has warmed up, the farm is a muddy freaking mess. They are cleaning out the bedding right now for the heifers like they did last week, but everything is a muddy, muddy mess. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you haven't yet, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're excited to continue to produce some great videos for you guys from our family farm.